That fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw, assuming this place ever thaws. Mrs. Garrett. You stay safe out there. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Dr. Verstecht. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. I'm doing anthropological research here in Scoggins. I'm a student of mankind. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing? Friend? Oh, yes. They must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. Very bright young man. Disappeared, oh, when was that? Two months ago? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. Is there anything else you can tell me about this missing grad student, Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. How do you mean? He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle of one of my discussions about the transformative power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? Oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. Don't you get the sense that this is a town on the cusp of something big? Their folklore, their fascination with puzzles. It's as if the energy of thought is being transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. How long have you been here in Scoggins? Well, let's see, about 15 years? I'm on my eighth government grant. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, he's the archetype of the martyr. The ritual sacrifice made as an attempt to assert control over capricious nature. Wait a second. Davner is not a myth. He's a real person. I've met him. Myths are real, Agent Tethers. We're all characters playing roles. The hero in a quest for truth. The wise, mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. You must know something about the local stories, about gnomes? The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. Oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. Thanks for your time, Alfred. If you hear any more about Isaac Davner or your missing friend, please let me know.
I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. He was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bog. The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. What he said. Thanks, Alfred. Let me know if I can help. Sounds like you found a fascinating mystery to solve. I'm finally desperate enough to visit Sheriff Bog's office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. A note on the door says, if I want... just isn't the same without the Daryls, boxing up insects and being generally annoying. The place... Equal distribution of weight between the birds. 12 votes to title compensation circuit. The Whispers. Oh. Hi, Steve. You're that FBI agent. Grapples? Tethers. Have you seen Isaac Davner around town? Davner? The old eraser factory foreman? Oh, nobody's seen him since the incident. There seem to be a lot of missing persons cases around Scoggins. Yeah, stuff happens. Did you know any of the missing people? I don't talk to a lot of people in town. Just here for business. What can you tell me about the hidden people? I'm not into that anymore. Market dropped out on gnome figurines. No, I mean real ones. Real hidden people? Are you trying to catch me saying something crazy? Is this entrapment? Are you okay, Steve? You seem tense. I'm not tense. Lots of people have trouble sleeping. It doesn't mean anything. How long have you had trouble sleeping? Since the eraser factory reopened. Why? Just asking. How's business? I'm not into tchotchke smuggling anymore, if that's what you're asking. No, I, I was just... You can't prove anything. Calm down. Okay. It's that I just can't figure out this problem. Maybe you can help.
okay. I'm. Yeah. Birds always. The foreman's wife, Glory Dabner, is still working at the diner as if nothing's happened. Even though her husband's still missing, and the last time I saw her, she was using a chainsaw to try to drown me under a lake of ice. I still don't know how she's involved, but I'd better make it clear I'm only trying to help if I want to get any information. Mrs. Davner, Glory, I think Isaac must have been involved in something big. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Hello, Sheriff Bog. Agent Heathers, what are you doing back in town? We got everything under control, and we don't need the FBI poking its... Calm down, Sheriff. I'm just here on personal leave. Hmm. Well, I keep my eye on tourists just the same as FBI agents. When I filed my report with the Bureau, I left out the part about you holding me at gunpoint. Come on, Tethers. I don't know how you boys do things in Washington, but out here, sometimes a man's gotta do what he's gotta do, even if it means drawing a gun on a fella. What? I hope you've started to take Bjorn's cult seriously. I'm convinced that they're behind the disappearance of Isaac Davner. Why, that's crazy. The Brotherhood of Scoggins are valued members of this community. I'm not gonna let them be harassed by anybody, FBI or no. I've heard that Isaac Davner is only one of the people to go missing around Scoggins. What can you tell me about the other disappearances? What can I tell you? Nothing. Sure, I got files on all the so-called missing persons, but I don't have to show them to any FBI man, especially one who's not here on official business. I believe the hidden people have something to do with the incident at the factory. Agent Taylor, please. Just because we don't live in some fancy city doesn't mean you can treat us like gullible yokels. You've been just as helpful as always, Sheriff Bog. Glad to be a service, Agent Chathers. Enjoy your time in our town and behave yourself. Agent Tethers. Ah! We need to talk outside. What did you need to talk about, Mrs. Davner? It's about Isaac. He's not back yet. He's supposed to be back. I warn you, Glory, that attacking an FBI agent with a chainsaw is a federal offense. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you were going to stop the Brotherhood. I couldn't let you. Isaac needed to finish his journey. Why are you worried about Isaac now? You're the one who helped the hidden... help them take him. You don't understand. It was the only way to save him. Save him? Isaac was... troubled. The Brotherhood offered us a way to cure him. the Brotherhood supposed to cure Isaac? Some kind of spiritual thing, I guess. Neither of us really understood it, but we were desperate. Do you have any idea where the hidden people would have taken Isaac? The hidden people aren't real. But I saw them taking Isaac away. It's the Brotherhood. They lied. What do you mean when you say the Brotherhood lied? 
Bjorn talked about finding peace by communing with forest spirits. I thought it was a... what's the word? A metaphor? No, a crock. But we try anything, and now Isaac's missing. In the lodge, I saw a photo of you and Isaac with the rest of the Brotherhood. They said they could help us, help Isaac. But they've been taking people. They took Isaac. It's all my fault. They took Isaac? Have you told the Sheriff? The Sheriff knows. He's working with them. Look, um, Glory, I'd like to stay and talk, but... You've got to get the missing person files. I, uh, that's actually a good idea. I'll make sure Sheriff Bog stays in the diner. Find out anything you can about Isaac. I finally got some help, more or less, in finding Isaac Davner. His wife, Glory, believes that the local cult is behind all the missing person cases in Scoggins. I'm going back to the sheriff's office to find out exactly what he's hiding in his files. Oh, Mr. Scroffman, you've been there the whole time. Mm -hmm. That conversation between Glory and me was strictly confidential, you know. I 
I know you'd like Isaac out of the way, but I'm going to find him. If you say so. station is locked tight. It looks like the sheriff's interest in puzzles extends to office security. Aha! Huh. Now to find those missing persons files.
Hello, Agent Tethers. Cripes! Sheriff Bog! How long have you been standing? Randall Scruffman told me you might be paying my office a visit. I'm sorry, it's just... I really needed to see how bad this missing person problem is. Everything I got about missing people is in those files. Uh, thanks. With all due respect, Sheriff, these files aren't exactly comprehensive. There are no dates. What's in the files is everything I got, Tethers. It spells a name? Teeter Dotter. Did you say Teeter Dotter? Uh, maybe. Hmm, that's probably Melkorka Teeter Dotter. And she's a strange one. Keeps her herself. Nobody in town really knows her. Is she one of the missing people? Missing? No, I can't say anyone would miss her. She lives in the old Teeterson house over on the west side of town, near Valda's Inn. Then I'd better find out what she knows about all these disappearances. Putting my furniture back in order and fix the lock on your way out, Tethers. What do you know about this woman, Melkorka Teeter Daughter? Korka? It's like I said, she lives on the west side of town near Valdas. Any more than that, you'll have to find out from her directly. <laughs> <laughs> 